So imagine a city of over 11 million people running out of water. This is the future for Bengaluru, India, which has grown so fast they've outpaced their water supply and face a crisis of epic proportions. Until now. When a group of ecological water geniuses have taken their future into their own hands and are digging one million recharge wells to save the city. One million wells? How is this possible? I traveled to Bengaluru to find out for myself. Nice. My name is Vishwanath. I'm a civil engineer and an urban planner. I run the Biome Environmental Trust. The trust works on sustainable water issues, which includes rainwater harvesting, groundwater recharge, wastewater recycling, and lake rejuvenation. Bangalore is one of the fastest growing cities in Asia. The only source of pipe water supply is from the river Kaveri, which is about 100 kilometers away and 300 meters below the city. There's only a limited amount that comes to the city, about 1,450 million liters per day. On the other hand, the rainfall on the city is very good. The equivalent of 3,000 million liters per day rain falls. So our idea is to make sure that at least half of this is captured, allowed to percolate inside the earth into the shallow aquifer, stored there, and then drawn through the open wells that you saw. Historically, Bengaluru was a city of lakes, which were filled up by heavy monsoon rains. These lakes were giant recharge basins, and the lake water would seep down into the ground and get filtered through stone and soil and end up in the shallow aquifer. When the shallow wells were lost, there was a big human impact as well, because there's an entire community of people who make their livelihoods from digging and maintaining these shallow wells. It is an art and skill set passed down from one generation to the next. Can you imagine what happens when these skills are lost? So Shankar is one such well digger. He has been working with his father from the age of 15 years. So his grandfather was doing earlier. And then slowly after his father uh, passed away, he started the group. The well diggers have built, I believe, around 250,000 recharge wells. To use these traditional livelihood skills and to build water security for the city is our goal. About 64,000 farmers will have water security for their livelihoods. In turn, when the farmers grow food, the city will get food security. So this is a circular economy in place, keeping livelihoods of well diggers, of fishers, of farmers in mind. If we are able to build a million wells, we will never run out of water in the city of Bangalore. So Bengaluru's residents would get their water supply from the shallow water table, where the water was so close to the surface that it could just be pulled up by hand, one bucket at a time from a community well. But as time went on, the lakes were paved over to make room for the city. Shallow groundwater and wells became polluted by wastewater and garbage, and the city dug deep bore wells to tap into much deeper groundwater sources. But the deeper aquifers had their own problems. Deep bore wells in Bangalore have gone to 1,800 feet. The deeper you go, the tendency is for the water to have more uh, contaminants such as fluorides, nitrates, especially salt. Chemical contaminants are more difficult to treat. The shallower we go, the clearer the water. Shallow aquifers have a tendency to be polluted with bacteriological contamination, which is easier to treat. So it's in our interest to go away from deep borewell aquifers and to move towards the shallow aquifer. With a bit of water treatment, this treated water would be integrated with the town's water supply system and become potable water. So a combination of wastewater, surface water treatment in a wetland system, earth filtration and recovery from an open well, plus water treatment to make it fit for drinking, recycling water as much as possible. So there's this incredible cycle being restored here. The rains and the treated wastewater from the city fill up the lakes. The water's filtered through the soil and bedrock to recharge shallow aquifers. Those aquifers are used to supply the city's needs, and the water supply is decentralized. Each neighborhood has its own well, and buildings are providing their own supplies through rainwater harvesting. How do you think people treat the wells when they're owned and maintained by the community? They're treated as sacred, and you can see the beautiful paintings that decorate and honor these water sources. This well is, it is about 16 years old. 
Why can't we use this as a recharge and discharge unit? This 2000 square foot area is the catchment for that. I do not waste even a single drop of water. I love nature. That's the reason. <laughs> the Million Wells program has caught the attention of the government of India in Delhi. And with another uh, partner organization called Aquadam, based out of Pune, we are able to persuade the ministry to adopt this as a pilot basis for 10 cities in India. In 2009, uh, the city was very interested uh, in water saving and water conservation. Because I was interested in the subject and had been studying it for long, I could find a seat at the table and become part of the committee and design a system which would enable the city to harvest at least 75% of the rainfall falling on it. It was the time to draft a law, a building by law, which would make it mandatory for every new building to have a rainwater harvesting structure. So many large buildings, many educational institutions, large apartments, gated communities, including government schools, all are practicing rainwater harvesting. What do you think happens at a public school when the water runs out? We visited an incredible school that supports the water needs of the campus completely with rainwater harvesting from the roof. This is not a wealthy area and school is super important to these children and their families. So this school being self-sufficient with water has a ripple effect for the whole community. We are in Sonnapnalli Government Higher Primary School. This school has 360 students. So we thought we'll do a rainwater harvesting demonstration here. This is the first rain separator of the school. So it almost meets around 120 days of water demand of the school. And during the summer only, they will use the water, which is coming again from the bore well. To reduce that water demand, we install aerators in the taps. Almost like 60% of water is saved. Apart from that, we have created a water quality learning center where all the rainwater harvesting best practices are implemented so the surrounding household or the schools and all can come to this school to study. People do not know the difference between a shallow aquifer or a deep aquifer. They do not what, know what an aquifer is. They do not know what is happening to the crusting of the city and therefore no recharge occurring into the ground. They do not know about rainfall, what volumes of rainfall occur. If we are able to educate them and build groundwater literacy, we are able to persuade more citizens to join the bandwagon of sustainable water management. It will prevent urban flooding, it will supplement our water requirements and it will help us tide over drought years. So rainwater harvesting is the way to go with the shallow aquifer management and the million wells to tide over urban India's water problems in an era of climate change. The Million Recharge Wells Bengaluru project is not just an on-the-ground program to dig and restore the city's water. It's political. It's educational. They're having an impact on policy throughout the country because they're proving an actual solution that works. Imagine what this will look like when this simple strategy spreads to water-stressed cities throughout the world. Are you ready to transform deserts, create lush backyards, and feed communities? In my almost 30 years as a permaculture designer traveling the world, I've put everything I learned into Oregon State University's online permaculture design course, or PDC. The PDC and PDC Pro are the ultimate ways to begin mastering permaculture. Me and my team guide you through over 20 assignments with more than 100 hours of top quality video lectures and resources, all focused on developing your own property or project throughout the course. You'll get personalized feedback from a dedicated instructor in a small group setting. People are always asking me, how can I be part of the solution? This is your starting point. Check the link below for upcoming courses and join us in creating a better world for everyone. See you in class.